Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. As you can see I have been doing a little bit more uh, maintenance, basically putting a load of compacting drawers down there to get the stuff that being, is being ground at the moment or sieved at the moment. So what I would like to do is get out of, let's have a look at this, I'd like to get out of the base at some stage, fairly soon as we can. And we've got this better diving mod in here which is allowed, we can make diving masks and things like that. These require titanium ingots, which is actually no problem whatsoever. The recipe for those is the one we would be using would be this one. Uh, titanium clusters in, in the high temperature uh, feed the beast jar or tempered jar. And that will make these ingots. We've got plenty of that. The next one's as difficult as this, the fiber mesh, which requires kelp. The recipe for kelp is actually to use nature seeds and water essence. Now nature essence isn't too, is actually difficult. The recipe for nature essence is basically from nature seeds and that comes from this nature agglomeration, agglomeration. And the recipe for that is sugarcane, potatoes, cactus now, and pumpkin. Now everything except for cactus is no problem. Cactus is a problem. And the recipe for that is um, but so we can put a slime ball through a mana pool to give us a cactus uh, and we use an alchemic catalyst to produce one of those now the slime ball recipe for that we can use is a, is some brown mushrooms and water in a tempered a low temperature tempered glass will make a slime ball so then when we need red <laughs> mushrooms have a look at mushrooms again we can make that from um, nature essence and whatever else but we can also make it by sluicing dirt in liquid mob souls. We, you know how to get that, we did that last time, we just smelt some liquid uh, mob, mob souls and we get liquid mob souls with a cloth mesh. So let's do that first of all. I've got, so I've got some dirt, we'll put that into this item mopper here. Uh, and in this is some mob souls, with 12 buckets of it. In this uh, sluice is 12 buckets of it, which will go down reasonably quickly. but. Right, we've got our first brown mushroom, fantastic. And if you take this brown mushroom here and have a look at this one, how do the recipe for these, once we've got one, we can put this in a botany pot with some rich soil. Actually, rich soil is the one we want to use. So let's have a look at pod soil, rich soil. The recipe for that is to make some organic compost and then put it around some sunlight with some water and some... Uh, adjacent mushrooms and that will speed it up and it will turn it into rich soil. Now rich organic compost is made with this. So we need some bone meal, some rotting flesh, some dirt and some straw. All we can use is tree bark here so instead of so much bone meal and, and rotting flesh. We've got plenty of both of those. It's a straw. To make the straw we just basically cut rice on the cutting board. <laughs> it's a long way around. There's lots of holes, loopholes to go through in this particular case. So um, botany pots I've got already prepared. Now we've got our mushroom. Let's, let's make the rich soils up. So we need some rice. Now I've got rice growing. I'll put it over here. So at this stage, you know, we should have plenty of rice. And like, yes, we've got plenty of rice. So we'll just take this like this. We'll put this in our offhand. And then we need a knife to cut it with. So there are different types of knives. Uh, I guess the easiest one to make for us at the moment would probably be an iron knife. So let's have a look at that. Get rid of this, lurch. And we can do this. An iron knife like that, just one piece of iron. And, a... and all we need to do now is with the rice in your offhand, is right click this cutting board. Oh, wrong, oh, wrong one, tool, wrong tool, sorry. Oh, that was also not, not sensible. Let's put the cutting board back again. So you right click this and that puts the rice on it. And with the knife, you right click it. So you just go like this a few times. And you can do exactly the same for other stuff. So we've got rice now, and we've got some uh, straw, six straw. So we should be able to make this compost stuff up. Let's spell it right. Let's see. It's rich soil, isn't it? What we need, I think, is this one. Yes, here, like this. So we should be able to make this. So, what am I missing? Some bone meal and some rotting flesh. That's no big deal. Let's go and get the rotting flesh. And the bone meal will be one of the chests over here. 
And the mob farm's doing reasonably all right. As you can see, it's got the odd bits and pieces in it. So plenty of, plenty of rotting flesh. We'll actually make two of these. I think we need four of that, don't we? And bone wheel, we've got plenty of bones. So we can simply grind those up. I think it's probably easiest just to do it like this. That gives us six. I think we need eight, but I'm sure we've got some more elsewhere in one of these things. You'll see this is actually, oh no, it's not run out yet. So we can make this one. So let's see, we should be able to make it up now. So let's click this in here and I hope that we've got enough. Yes, we've got one, enough for one. Um, inventory's a bit on the full side. But that's no big deal. We'll just put it down over here. Um, ideally, we want to put it with some near some other mushrooms, but if it's on water like that, it will fill up and it will convert. But it does take some time to convert to rich soil. In the meantime, with a bit of luck, we might have some more mushrooms. We've certainly got some more brown mushrooms in here like this. So what we need to do next is to convert those. So let's get those converted. So that means we have to start with Britannia. Let's get rid of the stuff that we don't need. We've already got a little bit, a little bit started with Britannia. But so first of all, then we need to make the bits and pieces that we need for Britannia. So we need to make a mana pool. Um, that was something altogether different. So we need to make a wand of the forest. Let's make one of these up. So we need some living twigs. And we need three of these. Let's just shift click them and get three. Like that. And then we can put the living wood back as to where it was before, which is actually in this chest here. So we have these three. So we think we can then make this up. And then you can choose what colours you want. I'll have a green one at the front and a brown one at the back. That looks sort of cool. So we'll take that one. In fact, actually, yeah, that'll do fine. So we also need a mana spreader and we need, if we actually go to the quest book, it'll tell us what we need anyway. So let's have a look for mana spreader. It's probably a space, isn't it? Uh, what have we got here? Mana storm charge. I've actually got too much stuff in my, in my search. Let's just get rid of this bit here. Mana charges, mana will do. Oh, we need a we need a mana pool. That's for certain. Let's get one of those. And that completes one quest. We also need a mana spreader, which is any any of these petals will plus a gold ingot will produce a mana spreader. In fact, I think I would prefer to use a different color because I've already got. I've already got um, some of these. Let's just pick a different colour. Let's pick uh, mystical lime green or something like that. Because the other ones are prepared for the endo flames, which we need to make next. So we've got our mana spread there. We also need to make an open chest. And I've got my inventory looking a bit on the full side. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. I don't need the rotting flesh. I probably don't need pipes. Put this stuff into here like that. And I've got, got block up data right and for that'll do fine. <laughs> okay, good. So um we've got the mana spreader, we've got this, we need the open chat open crate is the next thing we need. I know what the recipe is anyway, I can put it's just a, it's just a horseshoe of uh, wood, I think, uh, living rock. Oh live planks, so let's do this. Let's just click those into there. We need eight. We need seven to be honest, but eight will do. So we just make the horseshoe shape of that and that will produce the the open crate. In the open crate we need a hop up. We need so a block uh, and I've got some marble blocks here. A pressure plate which I've already put down and we'll put this down and we'll set it up. So for example here let's put down Let's put down the mana pool around about here. Where you put the things, you can always move them around later on anyway. So we've got a mana pool. And we want to put the mana spreader into this pool. So we could actually do it facing the as long as it faces it. We don't have to be we don't have to do anything special. We'll just put it down like that. And I hope that's the right round. 
probably not by the looks of it. So we'll we'll fix that first of all. Yeah, it's pointing the other way around. Okay, break it. So if I put it, for example, here, it'll actually point into it'll point into the, the maniple without me having to adjust it. If I want to adjust it, I shift right click that and shift right click the maniple and it'll be it'll be pointing to it anyway. So above this pressure plate here, I've got this open crate. And I'm going to put the open crate down on top of this, or shift right click it, so it's on there. It's got a nice little white illuminated spot, I'll get rid of that. And f yeah, put that over here like this. Good. And then we'll put a hopper on the side of this. Let's do it, it doesn't matter which side, we'll put it on this side over here. And then underneath this, we'll put a block. So we put a block around about here. This block of marble will do just fine. And then it needs two, two redstone dust, one going here. So what happens then? Put one redstone dust like that, and the other one on here. Is this when this pressure pad get gets activated? Let's let's just put something in it like a redstone dust or whatever. That'll drop down here, and it will then uh, it'll power this redstone. So if I put any more hot red, redstone in that, it's going to stay until this, this this one disappears. So we pick this one up, it drops down the next one. That's how that works. We'll take. <laughs> I'm standing beside it. Let's just take that out and I don't have to mess around. So we'll use charcoal for doing that. So the next thing we need to do is to make the ender flames. Now the way you do this, I've got it's fairly straightforward. We need a bucket and we need some seeds. Uh, we've got wheat, so we just self craft wheat and that becomes seeds like this. In fact, the way I want it to go is this way. So I need a bucket of water, which is what we've got here like that and then we, we come along here and we put in the ingredients now I had to just, let's have a look at then um, Encyclopedia Electrica Britannia first of all and then we need to look at generating flora so there's two types there's this hydro angias and an endo flame now the hydro angias will use water to produce manna but will disappear after three days so it's not a great solution so we don't want i don't want to mess around with the flowers the end of flame on the other hand works nicely it produces it from uh, burnable items so anything can burn we can do that and the recipe for this are these four petals so we need two brown one red and one light gray uh, in in the petal apothecary and that's basically it so what we'll do we'll just press e and we'll just drop these in here so we can just Q on each one of these. And then we have a look at it's right. It's ready to do. So we, we then drop a seed in here like that. I have to press Q, don't I? And that will produce that end, first end of frame. Put some more water back in it again. Right click this with an empty hand. I need to an empty hand. Let's put the one down here. And that puts the recipe back in again. Drop the seed in it. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's get the water bucket again. Drop the seed in it put the water in it, right click it with an empty hand, get a bucket of water before we start to do this, just because it's just easier. Press Q on that again, put the bucket of water in, right click it with an empty hand, uh, drop a seed in it, and get another one of these. And I think that's the lot I can do for the time being, because I don't think we've got any more. So we've got four ender flames. I'll make more later on but it's no big deal and when you put these down we need to bind these if they don't automatically get bound to the mana spreader which is here so let's just put these around they've got a, a range of about four blocks for endo flames so it's not too bad to put them around like this and then check how they're bound so you can see here that these aren't actually bound anywhere well it says actually it's got a cross on it so if i shift right click this and then shift right click the mana spreader so now it's got a tick on it, as you can see. On the right hand side, there's a little, there's a little mana spreader and it's got a cross on it. So we do this, otherwise it doesn't work. So we have to do this for all four pl plants. Oh, I'll just change the mode, sorry. I just right clicked it on, on itself on somewhere else. And the last one over here. So if you look at these now, they've all got some something in it. So all we now need to do is get some fuel. Um, 
What have I got around here? I'll take half of this and I'll take half of this and that'll give us 64, which will then produce some mana. So all we have to do is now put is to put these into here like this. And they'll drop down one at a time until one of the plants takes it. And as soon as it does, it drops the next one down and the next plant will take take it and so on and so forth. And as you can see, mana's coming into the pool. Great. So the next part of this, and it's, as I say, it's a long winded exercise to get to um, uh, nature essence. We also need to make the other essences, but we've also got to make uh, some stuff for mystical agriculture. But first of all, let's just do concentrate on this one bit. So what we need is a catalyst, wasn't it? And we needed the yellow catalyst, the alchemy catalyst. There's two, the conjuration catalyst and the alchemy catalyst. So for that, we need a mana pearl, which was basically one ender pearl, which we drop into the um, mana pool. So let's do that first of all. The next one is actually harder. We have to build another machine to do that. Great. Uh, um, so here we are, we'll come along here. We've got, take one end of pearl like that. We come along to the mana pool. It's probably got enough in already. Like that. And then we just press Q on this and drop it down. And you see it turns into a mana pool, fantastic. So that, we've all got everything except for the brewing stands. Now we need the brewing stands. For brewing stands we need a blaze rod. Now the blaze rod, Obviously we can make from blaze essence. We can actually put three blaze powders to the cutting press from um, immersive engineering. That's hard work. The other way to do it is to cast something. We have to cast this blazing blood and, we, and that's tricky to get. We need it. We need blazes in the, in the here to do that. And that we can chop off that blazes head to get blaze rods. Um, and we can do it here in the multi servo press. So let's make the multi-server press. So we need some gears. We need this redstone flip core, which we can do already, because that's no big deal. Let's just do that. Um, let's go back to the recipe for this one. Um, blaze rods. And then we need three, these are constant Constantine gears, and they're basically just copper and um, nickel. I made some by accident, some bronze ingots, a block of iron, let's make a block of iron. I've got enough iron in, in that chest. I've got plenty down here, like this. Let's take out a stack. In fact, while we're here, you'll notice I've got an iron gear on, this, on the casting table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one gold ingot into the cast here, and that's going to then smelt and we can then pour this into here to give us some um uh a cast we need then we've got a gear cast and what we can then do with the gear cast is we've got some constant on here we need two gears of this so that's eight ingots and we need one tin gear that's tin is here so we need four for that i'm pretty sure these don't smelt together so we can happily put those into here like this and let them smelt up in fact, the gold's already smelted, so we can then turn this, we can right click this here and it'll, it'll pour the cast. So we now have a gear cast. So what have we got here? We've got tin ingots and molten constant on. So we'll just turn it on and that'll start to produce the gears for us. So while that's doing that, let's make them, let's make the other parts of the machine. I've got to go through the, the process again of finding the machine recipe. So now we need a block of iron, like that. And then we need the, the casing. Um, let's have a look at this one. Maybe it's probably better to use it for this multi. Need the vertical line. But it's not at multi, it's just a multi, isn't it? So now I've got to find it in this list of items. Here we are, the multi-server press. So we need to make a machine frame. So we've got glass and we need some cast iron. And the only thing we're missing is this tin gear. We've made the tin gear and we've probably made by now the two constant ton gears as well. So we've got these two here like that. So now we can complete this machine. 
bit of a bit of a round trip. Let's just click that into place. So we got one of those, and then we should be able to do this one, which we can. So now we've got this multi-server press, and what we can do is just take some blaze powder here. It's got six of those, and we can put this machine onto this generator. It will work. So let's just put the machine on the generator like that. And you'll see it's starting to get power. Let's push the blaze powders into here. And these are now going to convert. And I've got a feeling that's got a red box on it. It has, yes. So I should be able to put some torches on top of those. If I've still got some. Let's put those back into my offhand. And then right click there. So that's, that'll take that away. So now we're going to end up with two blaze rods. Fantastic, we've got those. <laughs> going quite well. So the next thing we need to do then is to make the this catalyst here. So we need these brewing stands, which we should be able to make two of those, fantastic. So we've got all the ingredients we need now for this, I think. So we've got four living rock, two gold ingots, and a mana pearl, and we can make this alchemy catalyst. Which is also another quest completed. We'll have to go back very soon to go through the quests. The next thing I'd like to do in here is to make um, a piston. Let's just make an ordinary piston like this. And then we want a lever or two, so let's make a couple of levers. I want to make four levers. I've got some sticks in here. Hopefully we have. Yes, we have. We're needing levers constantly, so there's no harm in having these. So what we're going to do now is come along here. And we need to put a piston underneath. Actually, I really need a sticky piston. Um, to do this properly. But for now, we can... So we can put the block, the catalyst here. Like that. And then we can put the piston facing this block. So we just need to be... I think it's this side. Like this. If I press shift, now that comes up. Up, I need to break that one. I think that was the side I hit against it's my angle, so I have to get back a bit further. Press get back a bit. So, so that's now facing the right position. But again, it does need to be a sticky piston, so we do need to make two slime balls. So that's the next thing to do, doesn't it? So slime balls are made from here. So let's go and check what we have to do for the slime balls. Can look at the uses of this one we can have a look at the mana, mana infusion so you can see the things we can make oh, interesting we can make so it is a cactus cactus we need from here uh, no slime balls is the recipe we wanted so we needed some mushrooms and some water in here we should have some mushrooms by now so let's do that i need the one that's medium heat which is the one at the back here we need two buckets of water. Let's get those out. Like this. And we need some mushrooms. And we should have some mushrooms in here now. We've got six of these mushrooms and five of the others. So we'll just use two red mushrooms. We'll get two buckets of water. And then we can put those in the, the one at the back here. And now we need the water. There's no space for the water in this one. So we'll have to select it from ourselves. So the one we can then do is let's stop this one because there should be no recipe involved in that. And where's it gone to? It should be high, it should be available, it should be hi highlighted. If it's not highlighted, which it's not. <laughs> I'll probably have to select it. Or maybe we can select it manually. No, we can't. So we just maybe it has to be connected the water and it can't be in my inventory. So I need another one of these jars. So I have to quickly make a jar. So have we got some yes, we haven't got enough. We need seven glass panes. And we need a button. Oops, what did I just do? So I need some wood. I'll pretty easy to find it in here. I shall. Well, yeah, I'll make one button. And 
then we can make the glass jar. Oh, sorry, wrong place. Shift click that into the mirror glass jar. We then, of course, need some of these uh, iron casts. We can't break these, unfortunately, because if we do, it doesn't work very well. So, but we can put another one of these pipes on the end of here like this. And then we can put the, the jar underneath that. Shift click it on that side and it should connect. And then we can put some water into that. If I go and if I go and get some more water, then it's not, we're only going to use two of these. So let's just press, uh, let's fill it up with four buckets of water. Like that. I certainly only need to do three, but while it's running, we can put in another one. So now we should be able to select this recipe. It should appear great. It has look. What was that? Salt. You can get from water from salt. Okay. Uh, and then we can click this one. So we should get two of those. So while that's doing that, let's put in, fill this up again. And then it's not going to get filled, used by another recipe. So we've got one slime ball. Now we should have two slime balls. Fantastic. So we can now make the sticky piston. Aha. <laughs> Let's make the sticky piston. Let's put a lever on the on the piston. And then we activate it. Oops. I think I probably put that in the wrong place. Let's put it down here. Let's activate that again. So that then it should connect and disconnect. So what we should be able to do now is put a slime ball into here. Oh, actually we need four slime balls, don't we? So let's press Q on that. So now we have our first cactus. Well, with cactus, we can grow cactus. So what I'll do is I'll grow some cactus. We do want some sand. It's probably in this chest, of course, I don't know what I'm doing. Some sand, and we'll just put that into one of these uh, botany pots. So if I've got a spare one, I have got some spare ones here, because I moved the, the trees to the back row let's just shift right click this with an empty hand but i have to take the um torches out of the off hand otherwise it doesn't work and then we can put some sand into there and then we can put under sand the cactus in fact it would be better to use snad now snad is simply two sand one on top of the other so let's get that out if we want to and then we can craft that. I think we should be able to craft that on ourselves. And we get this snad, which is sounds spelt funny. <laughs> so what we can then do is put that into here. So I just need the empty hand in here, put the snad into that. And then if we get a first cactus, I mean, it's got 41. It's got a little bit of time. I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a second when that's ready. So that's working nicely, as you can see. It's 40 seconds for this compared to this the standard sand. Um, and the standard sand, I think, is about 1 minute 20 seconds. So it's twice as fast with snad. And you can see the growth rate is just uh, very fast in comparison to this one. Wait the 9 seconds. It was 40 seconds for this one. And this one should take any second. Now it's going to go. Let's have a look. Tells you the time, zero, one minute, 20, as I said, and this is 40 seconds, as you'll see now. It'll go down, oh yeah, 39 seconds. And so we've got we've got the cactus that we need now already. We've got, we need four cactus to do what we need to do, but I'm not going to do that this time because we, <laughs> we don't have time. Because uh, I need to set up mystical agriculture, which is what I'm going to be doing next time. So before we go today, let's have a quick look at that quest because we haven't done those today and they're usually fairly handy to do that. So basic stuff is staying as it is. Miscellaneous, well, I did make some gold spikes and put those into the mob spawner and we get a random reward for that. So we get this alchemical extender, um, which, is, which actually completes another quest. It happens quite a lot. As it happens. So let's go back here. Mystical agriculture. I made some inferium seeds. The recipe for those is very straightforward. It's just inferium essence around the wheat seed. So I didn't bother to show you that. And, just, and then they're in the botany pot at the back there. 
let's get out of that one. Or oh, did I claim the reward? No, I didn't. Let's claim the reward. So I get a storage upgrade too, which is great as it happened. That's an iron based one. And we, we probably might need that soon. So the next one along here is that was completed. Nothing else to do, but we're going to do some more of these seeds almost immediately next time. Um, Britannia, well, we've done the Manipal, which we'll get around the reward for. Many, oh, that's a pretty good one. We get a catalyst, which you get another uh, energizing rod basic reward for. That's that site section done. Thermal, well, we did the basic machine frame, so we get for that one another energizing rod. And we did the augment, which we didn't actually do, that was just a reward. So we get a globe trotter sash from Britannia. Thermal, what did we do in that? Oh, we got, I missed this one out here, the multi server press. And we get a Sample machine frame, very good. Storage, I did build the crates, they're very simple. Um, so let's just collect the rewards for those three. Compressed gravel, compressed up, that's really nice. And the lime laser lens, so like that. And that, I think, has got them all done. So these ones here, the small crate, this is strip logs, oak logs, and an oak slab. Very straightforward to do. I'll show you how to do that. Again, we can use the cutting board. Let's get some wood. Let's get some oak wood from in here. Let's take half a stack of that. I'm going to put the reward to wait. And I need an axe. I put the reward, I put the stuff in. Uh, I've got the here is where I put the stuff. So I just need an axe. And it's not in there. So, oh, you see my hotbar. Good. So what you do to do this is you take exactly the same way as we did rice, you put that into your offhand like no into your offhand like this. Come along here with the axe in your hand and right click. Just hold the right click down like that. And you're getting logs very fast as you can see, you're getting these strip logs. And it's holding down the right button and it's just doing the job just like that. So there we are. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, mystical agriculture, at least the basics. So until then, bye for now.